This recipe is completely new to me. It's quinoa with foil baked salmon. This is a really simple warm salad made with our quinoa. Okay, and then into it we're gonna put some cherry tomatoes, olives, capers, and loads of fresh herbs, and the whole thing served with foil baked salmon. Okay, so simple start to finish, but we need to start with our quinoa. Okay. Um, ben, I'm gonna ask a question I think everyone wants to know. What the hell is quinoa? Quinoa or quinoa, as some people call it, or quinoa, I seems to be lots of different pronunciations, but essentially it's a seed okay. um, from a cereal. So if you can just kind of wiggle your finger about in there, basically you just wanna soak. Uh, the seeds in cold water a little bit mm -hmm. just to start to soften and get rid of any sort of dust or whatever that's been gathered. This is a new technique. If it's just one finger, that's all it needs. Just... <laughs> and then shake off all the excess water and put it into our pan. Now, it needs to go into our pan with two and a half times the amount of vegetable stock. And then we can bring that up to a boil. And that needs to simmer away for 15 minutes, okay? And if you can just push all those down into there so nothing gets left behind. And meantime, we can focus on our salmon. Now, I think this is a really easy way of cooking salmon because there's very little washing up. Okay, so it's all done in foil. I do this one all the time. Foil, you, this is how you prefer so to cook it, isn't it? All we do is take a sheet of tin foil, double it over, it's twice as thick, saves any accidents later on when it tears, and then the salmon fillet, still with its skin on, it's just gonna sit on there. Mm -hmm. If you can just put salt and pepper on top, a tiny, tiny little bit of oil, you can put a little knob of butter on there if you like, but we'll try and keep this as healthy as possible. And then seal it up. Okay, and the important thing is to make sure it's completely sealed and airtight. So it kind okay. of steams. It half steams, half bakes. And then once these are wrapped up, they need to go onto a baking tray and into an oven at 160 degrees for 15 minutes as well. So at the same time as the canola, which is nice and easy. There we go, so you do that. Yep. So the quinoa needs another 10 minutes to bubble away while our salmon cooks, and then we can show you what's next of our warm salad. Now you can see after 15 minutes, wow. that's what our quinoa looks like. Okay, we need to leave it off the heat for another five minutes just to continue cooking in the residual heat. But in the meantime, we can put everything else that goes mm -hmm. into it. So some cherry tomatoes, if yes. you can just halve those, and everything's gonna go into the same bowl in the front there. And I'm gonna finely dice a shallot. Now our shallots go into the bowl as do your tomatoes. Mm -hmm. And then another two ingredients each. You can do the capers, so mm -hmm. just roughly chop those and put those in. And I'm gonna do the same with olives. So black olives. Right, there we go. So olives and capers. If you can now take a lemon and just zest that in there as well. Now the thing with quinoa is you need lots of flavour to add to them. It's not a lot of flavour on their own. Okay, it's been cooked in vegetable stock. We're gonna add loads of fresh herbs. So some basil, some tarragon and mint. Um, it's just fresh flavours, summery flavours, and really healthy. Because again, the only thing we put in here is a little bit of oil on the fish. Okay, everything else is completely fat free. And that's probably enough. If you can then just halve it and squeeze the juice in as well. I'm gonna put plenty of black pepper in. I'm not gonna put salt in, because the olives and capers were stored in brine, and the vegetable was quite salty. Okay, so just pepper, and a little bit of oil as well. There we go. Our quinoa's had that resting time. So that can go in there as well. Mm. Now that's obviously still warm, all the other ingredients are cold, but if you mix that up nice and quick, yep. then you start to cool that quinoa down with all the cold ingredients. And meanwhile, I'll grab our salmon. Now the beauty of this, look at that completely clean tray, everything happens in the foil. So what we need is a nice, clean, fresh white plate, fresh flavours, so we want a fresh plate. Mm. Plenty of this warm salad while it is still warm. Pile it up high. Plenty of that going on there, look at that. Plenty of capers, fresh berries, fresh herbs. There we go. And then our salmon. Now I'm actually going to serve the salmon inside of the tin foil on the plate. But we just want to open it up so you can see what's inside. And all of those fishy juices can then be added to the quinoa as well. So there we go, a healthy Mediterranean quinoa salad with foil baked salmon sorted. Which is completely new to me. And the verdict? Yeah, that's good. That's good. There's lots of flavour there from yeah. all those salad ingredients. I think I actually prefer this to couscous. A lean mean quinoa machine. <laughs> Isn't it? Mm.